Hi there, in this video, we're gonna bring in this logo, Average Dance. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to get it to kind of snap and jump all around, connect everything on the sides, line up with the center of the sequence. Basically, it's view, snap to program monitor. <laughs> but I've turned it into a five minute video because there's some other juicy stuff I wanna cover as well. All right, first up, let's bring in the logo. So there's a couple of ways of uh, adding that logo that you saw at the beginning. You can just bring it into your project panel. Okay, and this is how you've done it traditionally. You just drag it on and you know, you're animated and start working with it. It's not a bad way, um, it is a bad way. <laughs> it doesn't have some features. So another way to do it is to use your essential graphics. Okay, go to edit, go to new, and go to new from file. Okay, and you can bring it in this way. And it just gives you more control in terms of some of the responsive stuff. So it's in there, similar, but you've got all this extra stuff like responsive time, Okay, you can click on this, you can start animating from over here, centering it across the, um, the sequence, just gives you a little bit more control. It's a little bit more complicated, I know as well. Uh, the last way is actually just combining it. So this one here, it's amazing what you can actually keep, keep cramming into one Essentials Graphics. Okay, lots of separate animations. So let's do it that way. I've got this selected, I'm on Fitness 1. Okay, oh, for some reason I've replaced my woman. There we go, she's back. Okay, so graphic selected, I'm going to go new. I'm gonna go new from file. I'm gonna bring in that Adobe Illustrator file. And now we can turn on, like at the moment it kind of moves around and it's fine. Actually, let's shrink it down. You don't have to hold shift down in this program if you're from other Adobe programs, just grab the corner, drag it down. Um, and we wanna kind of line things up. Now, I've left mine on, whoops. <laughs> uh, so yours probably won't be on. So you need to go to view and go to snap to program monitor. If yours is grayed out and you can't, uh, can't select it, just make sure you've got the, see the blue outline, okay, around your program monitor. Just click anywhere in here and then go to view and snap to program monitor. And now when you move it around, it'll start snapping to things, which is super handy when you're doing this more, I don't know, I find I'm doing a lot more graphic design in these social media, especially ads, okay? There's a lot of layers, a lot of things going on. You're trying to communicate a lot, so, um, snapping on the program monitor, it steps to the edge. Okay, it starts lining up with things. In my case, I want it kind of down the bottom in the middle. So I'm gonna go to the middle of my little animation here. I want it kind of about there. You'll see that little red line tries to highlight the center of my sequence. So that's it. That's the uh, snapping to the monitor. I've turned it into a whole video. But I guess I wanted to add all that extra stuff about adding the logo, because there's different ways of doing it. The perk is that I can get it to, with it selected, I can say you are pinning to that background. So it animates with everything as well. Now, that brings up a really good point. It doesn't animate with everything unless you say pin to background, where to? I'm gonna get it pinned to the top. Let's go. There it goes. You can still animate it separately. Okay, you might decide that actually from about there, it's invisible. Okay, so I'm gonna say you are, I'm gonna turn the keyframe on for opacity. I'm gonna say you start zero there, and then about there, there's no reason for this to be um, <laughs> pinning to it. Okay, there. Okay, so I've got two keyframes, so it kind of comes up and just fades in the last part. Ooh, anyway, you get the idea. You can pin them, connect them, keep them all in this graphic, but also animate them separately. And really what we came for is view snap to program monitor. And you can't turn it on or off unless you have the program monitor actually selected. All right, next video.